Thanks for joining us. This is Emily Hester, and I'm with the Director of Metaphysical Mississippi, Krista Tu. We're back again to talk about this past week's Metaphysical Mississippi Meetup, which was at Russell's Yoga on September 14th, 2022. So Krista, what was your take on how the meetup went? Well, they always go well. And, um, but, but this was your first one. It was. So, um, I want to know what you thought. The topic was, um, community and I really felt that there. Um, I, I really felt it was a very welcoming space. He felt really included mm -hmm. and that's, um, and that's what I, I love about this group. When you have a group of people that are there, um, truly just loving other people and listening. Uh, people who will stop and really give someone their full attention when that person is sharing their story or, oh, wow. or trying to ex explore thoughts, feelings, new concepts. Uh, of course, um, Shane and um, Russell were so welcoming. Mm -hmm. um, their space is just a welcoming place. It, it, it's beautiful. I well, mean, I've, oh um, I've been to several yoga classes there. And of course, we do our um, monthly Reiki share. It, it's very much feels like a family get together. I but, mean, I, 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 yeah, family there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I felt very welcome. Mm -hmm. I'm your new newbie. To the <laughs> newbie. Community. Um, and, and what was neat is there were people from all ages, all ethnicities, all it was just socioeconomic um, yeah so that was very interesting and professionals students just people uh, who retired had, people yeah. <laughs> people <laughs> who were transplants as well as people who grew up in the area there's some yankees there <laughs> <laughs> and southerners <laughs> yeah. let's talk a little bit more about russell so uh i shared at the meetup that Russell and I met about three years ago in a yoga class. We met on the mat. And a year and a half ago, Russell and I did Reiki training together. And that's when our relationship really began to, to grow. Um, he completed his Reiki master and his yoga training. In the spring of this year, Russell and I began hosting community Reiki shares together. And... I have watched him grow in his Reiki and yoga practice over the past couple of years. And to be able to sit with him last night in the meetup and hear him share his story to a room of people, some people he knew, some people he didn't. And authenticness and his genuine love and appreciation for not only the practice of yoga and Reiki, but for the people who show up in his studio was, was just, um, it brought tears to my eyes. I just feel love from him. Just uh, he's like, just, he's just, yes, yes. And, oh, yes. and, you know, I thought I, I knew his story, but, but I learned things I, I didn't know. One of the highlights that he shared at the meetup was his yoga training. He went to Peru oh, to do his yoga training to get his two hour, 200 hour level. And as soon as he came back from that, he began to um, redo the space where, where his yoga studio is now. And, and it, it is just beautiful. I always, feel pampered I feel like oh, I'm going yes. to to a, a day spa just oh, to go to a yoga yes. class so um it, it was a 
It was a very beautiful uh, presentation that he gave. And I think everyone definitely felt the love and appreciation that he has for this community. Mm -hmm. And it actually, not only was it his, his first meetup to host, like you, it was his first meetup to attend <laughs> ever. So uh, wow. for, with Metaphysical Mississippi, he, he's been very involved in the yoga community. And like I said, in the Reiki community, but this was his first time to you attend. Couldn't, you couldn't. I know, I know. <laughs> but a lot of people already know, know him through, through yoga and Reiki. And he also has a day job. He, he has a hair salon um, in the community already, but it was his first time to, to actually be at a meetup. So we very much appreciate him opening his space. Yes, thank you. Space to Metaphysical yes. Mississippi. And we do plan to host more events through with him in the future. So. For those who haven't been to a meetup before, I could tell you a little bit about what to expect if you oh, wanted to come. Yeah. Um, I always like to stay fluid and flexible for how it's going to work. Being um, the first thing we do at the meeting is have that little feature presentation to either spotlight a business or a person or a modality or, or a metaphysical topic. And then I always like to then question or discussion topic for the whole group and then I'll allow the attendees to, to share um and those are just magic like yeah <laughs> I never know where that's gonna go and it almost always goes right where it I, needs to go uh I, I'm gonna share a personal experience so um just well I mean in, in some point when people were sharing I, I teared up I did um, when some people shared just because it hit a nerve and I didn't really realize it or I resonated, I resonated with it. Mm -hmm. um, but same, I mean, I think people can relate because I am not, um, I mean, I'm sure that I have giftings, but I've not identified them yet. Um, or labeled them, put them into words. Um, I think a lot of people have giftings and they're so used to it. It's so much a part of who they are. Like, no, let me say this. Everyone has gifts and abilities. And, and for some of us, we're kind of used to them. And then for some people, they have quieted them. They've, they've squelched yeah. them because it's just like looking over in your past like what what's your quirk or, or that you thought was a quirk or you know just uh just your outlook and view may be a little different than the next person or a lot of people as a child they think whatever it is they're experiencing whether it's their family dynamic or their own inner dialogue is normal right until they go to school or they hit middle school and realize oh my gosh no uh not everybody else and then see and then, things in the dark everybody else hears voices oh right. no that's weird I'm not supposed to do that and they just shut it off right you learn not to share yes yeah mm -hmm. hush, hush. that was sh shared that I, I mean I guess I just didn't, didn't really think about it because I'm not in this community I'm, I'm putting my big toe in there right now yeah. but um, but, um Things are still done behind closed doors. It's still sort of like, um, what was it when the prohibition? <laughs> I, I mean, well, we're in the deep south, so. Um, still fresh on. on in, yeah, in but the some places, culture. you know, you don't air that, that you don't let any of that, you secretly. Yeah, you don't go public. You don't share with other people. If you need to go and speak to someone who has a gifting, you know, that client is hush hush and they don't share with other people that they're going to seek a gifted person mm -hmm. to help them through things. And, mm -hmm. I mean, to me in this day and age, I'm like, that seems kind of silly to me because. <laughs> I don't think in the younger generation it may it may not be as hush -hush. Yeah. yeah yeah and that's what's kind of exciting when I was there um seeing a, a younger generation mm -hmm. 
mm -hmm. of people there. They were just not really soaking it up, but I was amazed that they they're looking to you or the or the or the the generation above the older people. <laughs> yeah, the old people. <laughs> in in how how y'all live your life and um, with the giftings and navigate in normal society, you know, without normal society. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know. Yeah. No, no I, I have so much respect. I personally, and I have, and I have daughters who are in this age group in the late teens, in their from late teens to almost 30, that little, that age group, whatever gen generation, I don't know mm -hmm. what generation there, but I can't yeah. keep up with them. I think that's two different uh, groups there, but uh, maybe three, but um, I have much respect for many of the people I've come across and not just in the metaphysical community, like friends of my children and just other young people, but, but, but I'm specifically talking about in the metaphysical community. I have much respect for where they are and how they are looking at things in their life, their personal life, their personal self, their, their inner work, and also looking at society in ways that I was not brave enough to do at their age. It took me to be in my 40s before mm -hmm. I would be, I may have thought things, I may have mm -hmm. seen that, well, this doesn't make sense, but I didn't have the courage to seek those answers outside of the normal constructs of what society says, how you're supposed to find answers. And yes. um, maybe I did inside, maybe my inner dialogue, maybe my, um, maybe I did explore things through books and, and on the internet as the internet became more available to us older people. But, but, but not only do I have that respect and love and excitement for them on this journey, mm -hmm. But I have such hope for this generation. I have, I have hope and, and really I can say I have confidence that, that maybe some of them are going to get it right. <laughs> maybe some of them are going to um, um, help our, our planet evolve and ascend to the next level of, of where we're going in growth or whatever. Like yes, I, I know. It, so it's so, getting deep. Yes. <laughs> if you need to find out where the meeting is going to be or have any questions about Metaphysical Mississippi, you can email us at metaphysicalms at gmail.com or visit our website at metaphysicalms.com. We'd be more than happy to answer your questions and provide you with any resources that we have available. But we do meet the second Wednesday of every month, 6.30 to 7 is our meet and greet time. And then from 7 to 8.30 is the meeting itself. And uh, we have a featured spotlight who will be a member of the community or myself, either talking about uh, metaphysical businesses, their spaces, or different metaphysical topics of interest. We segue that into a discussion question that we open up for the attendees to participate in also. Then the last part of the meeting is usually uh, used as a time to share announcements and things that are going on in the community. That's also when we allow new people to introduce themselves or some of our members who have been attending, if they want to tell a little bit about their journey, if, if we time permitting, we allow that. But we'd love to see you there. Yeah. See you there. <laughs>